This is Realme Narzo 70 Turbo smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden features for this smartphone. So if you are planning to purchase this phone or you have already bought this then this video can be really helpful for you. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. Whenever you will open this app drawer, every time it will show this keyboard and enable this search box. It is really annoying. To disable this, simply click on manage and then click on app drawer settings. Firstly, disable this display keyboard when entering app drawer and also disable this add app search to notification drawer. Now whenever you will open your app drawer, it will not show that keyboard and not enable this search box. If you will use your phone with a single hand then it feels really uneasy to reach at the top and open this notification drawer. But there is a gesture by which you can easily open this drawer. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on more. There you will see the option of swipe down on home screen. Click on this. By default it is selected to global search you have to select notification drawer. Now whenever you will swipe down on the empty area on the home screen it will open your notification drawer like this. This phone have multiple levels of brightness in your torch. You simply have to tap and hold on the torch icon and it will show different levels. You can select different levels and adjust the brightness of your torch in this smartphone. This phone have a special feature of free call. So you can call anyone around you without even mobile network or any kind of internet connection. You can connect a call with the help of Bluetooth. To enable this simply open your settings and then click on mobile network. There you will see the option of free call. Click on this, click on got it and then enable this. Then it will search the Bluetooth device around you. Then it will connect to that Bluetooth device and you will be able to make a call. It will give you a feel of walkie talkie. So you can use this feature to call people nearby even if you don't have internet connection or any kind of mobile signal. This phone have a cool effect of edge lighting. So whenever your phone is locked and someone will message you, it will show a cool looking edge light in your smartphone. To enable this, simply open your settings and then click on wallpaper and style. Scroll down and then click on edge lighting. Here you can select different colors. And now whenever any notification will come, it will show the edge lighting like this, as you can see in the preview. In same wallpaper and style settings, you can also change the fingerprint animation. Here you have different options. You can select your favorite one and now whenever you will unlock your phone with the help of fingerprint, it will show that specific animation in your smartphone. You can also enable double tap to lock and double tap to wake your screen up feature. To enable this, simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on more. There you will see the option of double tap to lock. Enable this, scroll down and also enable this double tap to wake or turn off screen. Now whenever you are on home screen, you can simply double tap on the empty area, then it will lock your smartphone. And if you will double tap on the locked screen, it will wake your screen up. This phone comes with 120Hz of refresh rate, but by default it is selected to auto. To get the smoothest experience, open your settings, scroll down and then click on display and brightness. Scroll down and then click on refresh rate. There you can see on the bottom screen refresh rate. Click on this and then select maximum. Keep in mind it will consume your battery a little bit, but you will experience the smoothest animations and transitions in your smartphone. If you want to increase the life of your battery, then you must enable the next feature. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. Scroll down and enable this smart charging. So what it does, it will charge your phone up to 80% with normal speed, then take a little bit extra time to charge your phone fully. With the help of that, you can increase the lifespan of your battery and use your phone a little bit longer as well. There is another feature of charging limit. If you will enable this, then it will stop the charging when your phone battery level reaches up to 80%. You can also enable this if you want to keep your battery percentage at 80%. But you can select only one of these in your smartphone. As you can see, if I will enable this, then it will disable this one. So you can only use one at a single time. The next feature's name is AI Smart Loop. To enable this, simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on accessibility and convenience. There you will see the option of AI Smart Loop. Click on this and then enable this. Click on Agree and Continue. Now what it does is you can share any of your photos etc. With the help of this, let me show you. For example, if you have clicked a screenshot, then tap and hold it and then drag and drop to the right side. Here you can share it to FileDoc, Snapchat etc. You can also customize this one. To customize this, click on Manage Apps. Here you can delete any application and also add your favorite application into this AI smart loop. So with the help of that, you can share any of your images very quickly in your smartphone. You can use two application at the same time in a single screen with the help of a simple gesture. 
For example, if I want to use Chrome with Play Store, I have opened the Chrome, then swipe up by using three fingers like this. Now open the Play Store. As you can see, you will be able to use two applications at the same time in a single screen. You can click a long screenshot, partial screenshot and a normal screenshot with the help of simple gestures. The first way is to use your three fingers and then swipe down. It will click a normal screenshot. Now if you want to click a partial screenshot or a screenshot of a specific area, then tap and hold on the display with three fingers like this and then select the area of which you want to click a screenshot and then click on this right icon. So that's how you can click a cropped screenshot. Now if you want to click a long screenshot, then click a normal screenshot. You can use volume down and power button at the same time like this and then click on scroll. Now adjust the length by scrolling like this and then click on done. So that's how you can click a long screenshot, partial screenshot and normal screenshot with the help of normal gestures in this smartphone. If you want to monitor your real time internet speed in the smartphone or show your internet speed in status bar, then open your settings, scroll down and then click on notification and status bar. Click on status bar and then enable this real time network speed. Then it will start showing your internet speed in your status bar. You can also hide any photo, video or any kind of document in this smartphone. Simply open your settings and then click on security and privacy. Scroll down and then click on private safe. Now firstly you have to set a privacy password. Click on set password. You can set a six digit password or if you want to use a different password type, you can select pattern, alphanumeric, four to 16 digit, etc. Here I select pattern, draw your pattern and then confirm your pattern. Answer a security question and then click on this right icon. Click on images and videos and then click on add. Now select the photo you want to hide and then click on set as private. Then it will hide that photo from your gallery or file manager. And whenever you want to show your hidden photos or videos, again, come to security and privacy. Open this private safe, type your privacy password and you can access your hidden photo or video. You can also clone any application or make dual of any application. So with the help of that, you can log in with two different accounts in a single application. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on apps, click on app cloner, click on agree and continue. Then it will show all the application which are installed in your smartphone and clonable. For example, I want to clone my Facebook. Click on Facebook and then click on create app clone. It will take few seconds. After that, it will create clone of that application. As you can see in my app drawer, I have two Facebooks now and I can log in with two different accounts in a single application. If you long press the power button, then it will launch this voice assistant application instead of opening your power menu. But if you want to set this long pressing power button to power menu, then open your settings, scroll down and then click on accessibility and convenience, scroll down and then click on power button. There you will see the option of press and hold the power button. Click on this and then select power menu. Now whenever you will long press your power button, it will launch your power menu. But if you want to keep this power button as voice assistant, now if you want to launch your power menu, you can press the volume up button and power button at the same time like this, then it will launch your power menu. You can change the shape, size or even the name of any apps icon in this smartphone. Simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on icons. Here if you want to change the size, you can change the size with the help of this bar. Now if you want to change the shape, you have different options here. You have different options in custom options as well. You can select your favorite one and then click on apply. Then it will change the shape of that application icon. Now if you want to change the name of any application, then simply tap and hold on this application and then click on edit. Now click on app name and then set your name as per your liking and then click on save. As you can see, it will change the name of that application as well. Now let's talk about some of the screen of gestures in the smartphone. So with the help of that, you can open your favorite application. Even your phone is logged. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on accessibility and convenience. Scroll down and then click on gesture and motions. Click on screen of gestures. Here you can enable this draw and O to open camera. If you enable this and now your phone is logged, you can simply draw a O and then it will automatically launch your camera application. Here you have also another option. You can draw a V to turn torch on or off. If you enable this and now your phone is locked, you can simply draw a V to turn on your flashlight and again draw a V to turn off your flashlight. Now if you want to set any of your favorite application to different letters, you can also do this. Simply enable any of these. For example, I have enabled draw W. Click on this app and then click on open an app. Now select your favorite application, 
Now, whenever your phone is locked, you can simply draw a W, then it will launch your favorite application. As I have said my YouTube, it has opened YouTube. Here you can also enable this music control. If you enable this, you can control your media player with your locked screen. You can use your two fingers and draw these two lines, then it will pause or resume your music. If you will draw these symbols, then it will play the previous song or the next song. So you can use this one as well to control your music player when your phone is locked. If you like to multitask, then you must use this smart sidebar. By default, this feature is enabled, but to open this, you have to swipe to the left to this sidebar, as you can see on the right side of your screen. Simply swipe to the left to the sidebar, then it will open your sidebar. Here you have file doc. You can save some of the photos or any kind of files temporarily to this file doc. You can screenshot it. You can also translate any page in the real time with the help of this screen translate. And now whenever you will open any application with the help of this smart sidebar, it will open it in floating window, just like your desktop and laptop. You can resize it and you can also drag and drop it anywhere. You can use your phone normally and it will remain as floating window in the corner of your screen. To close it, simply click on this and then click on this cross icon. You can also edit this sidebar, open your sidebar and then click on edit. You can add your favorite applications here and you can also remove any of unnecessary application from here. After this, click on done. So with the help of this smart sidebar, you can multitask in your smartphone very easily. You can also enable this turn on or off your flashlight with the help of this volume down button. By default, this feature is disabled. To enable this, simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on accessibility and convenience, scroll down and then click on gesture and motions. There you will see the option of turn on or off torch with volume button. Now whenever your phone is locked, you can simply long press your volume down button and then it will turn on your flashlight and if you long press it again, it will turn it off. You can control your phone even without touching it. To enable this feature, simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on accessibility and convenience. Scroll down to the bottom and then click on smart sensing. Here you have option of air gestures. If you will enable this, then you can change the videos in Instagram or YouTube with the help of this gesture as you can see in the preview. You can also answer or mute any call with the help of these gestures as you can see in the preview. If you want to learn these gestures, you can also click on learn gestures. Then it will show the tutorial how you can mute your call or change the video in Instagram or shorts etc. So with the help of this air gesture feature, you can control your phone without even touching it. You can also check your heart rate in this part phone. Open your settings, scroll down to the bottom and then click on Realme Lab. Then click on heart rate measurement. Now place your thumb on this sensor. It will take few seconds. After that, it will show your real time heartbeat. But please don't use this as any kind of medical references. You can also hide any application in the smartphone. Open your settings and then click on security and privacy. Scroll down to the bottom and then click on hide apps. Now, firstly, you have to set a privacy password, but we have already done this. Simply draw your privacy password. Then select the application you want to hide. For example, I want to hide my files. Now you have to set an access code to access your hidden application. Click on set now. Keep in mind you have to start your access code with hash and also end it with hash. For example, I have set hash 1234 hash. After this, click on this right icon. Click on done. As you can see in my app drawer, there is no files. Now to access your hidden app, simply open your dialer and then type your access code. As you can see, it will start showing your hidden application in the smartphone. If you use your phone at night a lot, then you must enable these two features to protect your eyes. The first one is dark mode. In your control center, you will see the option of dark mode. If you enable this, then it will turn all the whites into black and then it will decrease the pressure on your eyes. The second one is also in your control center. The function's name is eye comfort. If you enable this, you can schedule your time for this. Otherwise, click on always on. Then it will warm the color of your screen a little bit and it will also decrease the pressure on your eyes. So you can use these two features to protect your eyes if you use your phone at night a lot. So these were some amazing tips and tricks and hidden features for Realme Narzo 70 Turbo smartphone. If you like this video, then let us know in the comment section, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one. Till then have fun and keep on exploring your smartphone.